This is a Fox News alert. Now, just breaking moments ago, Axios reports that President Trump has told multiple confidants he plans to pardon Michael Flynn. We'll continue following this story throughout the hour. But first, Joe Biden tonight is signaling a return of the Washington swamp, picking a wave of establishment figures to staff his administration. For example, National Security Advisor pick Jake Sullivan defended the debunked Dirty Steel dossier as, quote, perfectly appropriate. And Secretary of State pick Tony Blinken actually opposed a terrorist label for Iran's Revolutionary Guard, a potential sign of a softer stance towards Tehran. And get this, according to new State Department documents, after joining Burisma Holdings, Hunter Biden, in a 2015 request, a, he wanted a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Blinken, highlighting yet another potential conflict of interest stemming from Hunter's nefarious dealings overseas. But of course, Democrats and the mob and the media can't help but swoon over the return of the swamp, even comparing Biden's cabinet picks to superheroes. Seriously, watch this. The other thing I'll just say is I was talking to a Democrat who just said this also felt like the Avengers. It felt like we're being rescued from this, this <laughs> craziness that we've all lived through from the last four years. And now here are the superheroes to come and save us all. Ay, 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 ay. But we're also learning tonight that Biden's Department of Homeland Security pick Alejandro Mayorkas came under fire in an Obama era inspector general report for intervening to help Democrat linked foreign investors in the EB-5 visa program. And rounding out Biden's picks is failed Iran negotiator John Kerry, who's been tapped as what's being called a climate envoy, whatever that means. So ask yourself, is the Democrats' bench really that thin that Joe Biden has to reach into the recycling bin and pick from the same failed group of establishment leftists to fill out his administration? Or are Democrats and the deep state so aligned that they can't be separated? Because what's clearer than ever tonight is that Joe Biden and company are committed to selling out the, to the swamp and abandoning the president's America first foreign policy. And perhaps no one summed it up better than Senator Marco Rubio, who tweeted, quote, Biden's cabinet picks went to Ivy League schools, have strong resumes, attended all the right conferences, and will be polite and orderly caretakers of America's decline. 